Greetings again. This is Dr. Bill Watt with the American Orthodontic Society, and we're going to talk something this morning about moving teeth into areas where there is no bone. And people didn't think this was possible to do this, but you don't have to do all this surgery to move the bone out there. You could just take a group of teeth and they will move together. Now, if you just want to move one tooth out, you could push it through the bone structure, but if you just go slow with the whole group, the whole bone structure moves with the teeth. And I'm going to try to back this up with a case that we're going to go, and I'll show you here that we did, oh, uh, probably 30 years ago, and I've lectured on this, and people still say you can't do this, but you can. So we'll get started on this uh, young fellow who's in a, what we call a scissor bite, or the upper teeth kind of fall inside the lower teeth almost in his particular case. And we're going to have to widen the upper teeth out some, and then we'll widen the lower teeth a lot more. Uh, they fall inside this. Let's get on to the case here, and I'll uh, try to change this little deal. This young man has a scissor bite. He's a nice-looking fella, got a nice facial structure, and I'm just going to try to cover this movement of bone structure and not go into uh, too much into the orthodontic uh, what we did in moving the teeth, but I'll show you some of that also. Now this is the way his teeth uh, met. Uh, these cuspids were uh, were crowded out of the arch, and the upper arch is much wider than the lower arch, and the lower arch on this left side of the mouth fit underneath and the teeth back around the molar in the second bicuspid didn't touch, they went down past each other, and that's why they call it a scissor bite. Now the teeth on the uh, left side of the mouth, they met good. And so what we're going to do, we're going to move this lower arch over against the upper arch, and I'll have to show how to do that. You can slide one arch past the other arch by the way you uh, put these elastics in on the teeth. In the first place, we've got to line all this up and get the cuspids in place and that's going to bring these teeth out even further than they are and you can see that develop as we uh, go along here and this is looking at it from the side and you see the molars back in here don't uh, they don't touch back in that area on the right side of the mouth now that's beating good except it's going to be a slight class two a little bit problem. Now, <clears throat> when we look at the upper teeth just lined up like they are, we're going to have to put these teeth in place. So we're going to bring these out, bring this out like that, and line these teeth up. And we'll correct the rotations and whatever else is in, is in having a problem uh, with the teeth uh, as we get in here. Now, the lower teeth fit inside of there, and where they did, they kind of wore the surface of these teeth down just slightly. Uh, we'll show that, we'll have to come back and line it up, and we're going to bring these teeth out to where they're going to be under the upper teeth, and hold these where they were in relation to the upper, uh, upper teeth here. So, when we look at this, uh, this uh, picture of the model, and we started this case in 4 of 1989. Now these are the lower teeth that are inside here, missing the upper teeth. Over here they fit together, and the bite is closed up here. There are several dental uh, problems here that we've discussed in many, many cases, so I'm not going to spend too much time where we I'll bring these teeth down like that. Let's look at it again from another angle. You see the upper teeth are out over 
the lower teeth. These molar teeth, the things were fitting in, this one almost is, but it hangs it right in here. Now we're going to have to put this cusp in and line it up, so we'll have to expand these teeth, and that's going to make this lower arch in here have to expand not quite a half inch, but it's going to have to move out so quite a few millimeters there, and we're going to bring it out, and the bone will come with those teeth as we bring that out. Now we use this large arch wire, we call a big daddy arch wire. If you put this on anybody, you can expand anybody's case with one of these wires if you want to. You have it built out where it's way out here, and you pull it in and wire it to these teeth. And on the other side of the mouth, where we really want, looking at it on the straight, it doesn't do much out here. We just tie it up. You come over the, let's see, I don't see a buckle. Yeah, here it is. All right, this, this wire right here is way out past the teeth. And it would be out here, we push it in and tie it to these teeth. Now to make these teeth move out and keep the others, we have to come in with an elastic band here. And when you look at uh, this picture, there's just one surface, you can't hardly see that. I'm going to uh, show you that just in a, uh, I'll just make a play here. Here's a motor tooth out here. And here is one up here, like this. And we don't want this one to stay here, so it's meeting properly with the other teeth, and we don't want it to move. This tooth over here was coming in, and it's something like that. And we want this, we want to widen this and move this tooth over here, and we want to keep this this way. So what we're doing, we're going to play this side of the arch and these teeth over here and we're going to hold these and move these right here and what we do that with as we try to expand this it pushes this tooth out so we hook an elastic here and come up and hook it on the side of the upper tooth and over here we hook an elastic and you come in and hook it over here. Now the elastic is pulling both of these teeth in the same direction. So as we widen this out, these will stay pretty much the same, and this will move out over here to where it's fitting inside the lower teeth, uh, the upper teeth like that. Now if you can decipher what I have said here and follow it, and we had a class two problem, so we were hooking up back here, bringing these up to the front. I'm gonna go back and uh, erase that, and I'll show you. Now these are class two elastics. They're pulling the lower jaw back and the over, I mean the upper jaw back and the lower jaw forward to correct the class two problem. And here's this one from the inside to the outside, from the outside to the inside. And this movement now will take place over here and not over here. It's going to hold this pretty much like its own self. So this is getting pretty complicated. So if you're just tinkering around with orthodontics, don't jump on some case like this to start with. But learn how to do the easy stuff and then you can expand into something uh, more difficult. All right, here we put that on there and we wore those elastics. Now I see we've got the cuspids lined up now, but these teeth are out further than they were and that made the lower teeth have to go even further uh, to get that. So we've lined the upper up and now we're just, we've got the lower teeth now biting together over here. This is January of 90 and we started this in sometime 89, I think. We had that part corrected. Then I will show you where the class two comes together. Now this 
archway right here is what we call a big daddy archway. You would go out like this and you heat treat it and you pull it in and it's going to expand any body you put it on. I don't care how old they are or whatever. You can expand the arch, but you have to learn a little bit about torquing these teeth. If you're going to expand it out, you need to put some buckle root torque to bring these teeth out. If they're tilted this way, you just straighten them up. But if they're tilted the other way, you have to bring the roots out as you bring these. And the bone structure, you see this bone structure in here? It's moved from way in here, out here, and it's still with the teeth. If I had moved one tooth out here and left the others, it might have gone through the bone structure out here. But if you take the whole group and go out, the bone structure goes with the teeth. And you don't have to go in there and extract these teeth and put implants in, leave it out to correct some problem like that. And I want to show you that as another case. Now here we've got to correct the class two by just using class two elastic. And I'll show you where that, the both sides had to go some. Now we've got the cuspids coming down to the groove and they're correctly and then now we take the big wire out. We've got these expanded like we wanted, and we've got the proper torque in, in the teeth. And the lower is fitting on the right side. Now it was correct, but we brought it back and put it in a class one relation. I'll have to show you that on some models in just a minute. The midline's almost on, and these teeth that were underneath the upper teeth, now out in underneath the teeth. So these have moved a whole long way, and we move these further out to get that in, and they're still in, in line right there. So we've moved them, and they have not come out of the bone structure. Uh, some people think that's not true, but it is true. They are that way. This picture right here was a just defective. It wasn't held in the mirror. wasn't held in there right on that. Now this is the side where we had this scissor bite, and there it is now. This is 1940, and it was 1989, I think, when we started. So we took about two years, or maybe a little bit more, to get that back. That's the wrong deal there. And the right side is correct. Now we brought it back, but kept it in relationship with the two teeth right here. Now here's the young man's facial structure. Let me go through this. And that's January of 91. We're there. So here's January of 91. The lower teeth are out there, and the bone structure went with the teeth. You can put your finger and see, feel that bony edge. Uh, I had a guy come in one time, just wear him down. I pushed him out of the bone. I said, well, that's not right. I can feel the bony ridge in there, and there still was in there when we moved it. Here's the roots of the teeth. This is 326 of, he's 18 and a half, uh, nearly 18 and a half, and this is 1989, three of 89, and he's in that scissor bite, and here it is, four of 90. That's just a little over 89 and 90, uh, a little over a year and a half, uh, time and secret. And you can look at the bone structure around the teeth, and it's looking good. It was hardened up in that form. Now, this is Robin Williams, and that's the guy that we did, and we've got him in a class one relationship right now. And I'm going to show you. Here's where we started, 4 of 89, 10 of 91, and here it is. Now, this cuspid tooth was here. We brought it 
It was out here, so where we brought it back. We wore class two elastics to do that with, and we wore this elastic in like that to keep this together. And so these teeth stayed where they were, and we used the, to, to slide this over, we used the teeth out here, here, and here to expand that out by using those elastics like I showed you there at first. Now let's look at the uh, front of it. It didn't have much to do with the front. We've got a little bit of a deviation in midline. Here, these are lined up pretty good. And this was a side that was in the crossbite back here. You see these teeth that moved out. Now these went out and these went out further. And we brought them out to that point. So I don't know, you, you're gonna have to, we opened the bite, we did a bunch of other dental things here that may be necessary to do. And you need to learn how to do the easy stuff for you jump on something like this. But hope you'll look at this and see this bone structure is still there. You can feel this ridge around those teeth. And if you just move them slow, the whole group moves out. This cuspid was coming in like that. Now it's coming right down in this groove where it should be. And these are headed in correct too. And the upper teeth, both of these are widened out. See this one had to come out like that. And, we came, and that's the way we've got it done. And that's the way it ended up. Oh, wait a minute. And the bone structure is still in there. As this moved over, this bone hadn't quite smoothed out with it, but it's still bone on this side over here. And this is the finished part of this young man. There, that cuspid going in, cuspid over there. It's expanded. We put a three to three or teaching on here and he wears an upper retainer for that. And this is 91 and here is the final picture of this young man and I hope that you will subscribe to our channel. We appreciate you watching and uh, tell other people about it. We would like to uh, increase the people that are uh, subscribing to our channel. So I'm going to say goodbye and thank you for watching and I'll close out.